poems I've translated from Catullus. He's known primarily as a poet of love and hate. So I'll give you one of each. The first is Catullus V, very famous poem. Let's live, my lesbia, and love, ignoring critical old men whose gossip isn't worth a penny. Suns that set can rise again, but when our brief light once goes out, we sleep a night that doesn't end. Give me a thousand kisses, then a hundred, then a thousand, then a second hundred, then another thousand, then a hundred, when we many thousands lose the score, so we can't know the sum, nor any envious hater hex us when he knows our kisses are so many. Now, the next one is a poem of hate directed at someone he thought was one of his rivals in love. This is number 39. Because he has white teeth, Ignatius grins incessantly. In court, while the defense attorney is provoking tears, he grins beside a pyre as everyone laments a loving son. The stricken, more, the stricken mother mourning her only child, he grins. No matter what he's doing, where he is, what's going on, he grins. He has a sickness, and it's not elegant, if you ask me, or well-bred. I have to warn you, good Ignatius, that were you a Roman, Tigertine, or Sabine, a parsimonious Umbrian, or a fat Etruscan, a Renuvian, dark and toothy, or like my countrymen, a transpidane, or anyone who cleans his teeth with water. All the same, I want you to refrain from grinning all the time, for nothing's more in vain than foolish laughter. But you come from Spain, where each man saves his pits to rub next morning on his teeth and ruddy gums. The more your teeth are polished, thanks to this, the more it shows how much you've drunk of piss. 